Hello, my name is Aiden Shaughnessy. So there, whoa. All right, redo. All right. Hello, my name is Aiden Shaughnessy, and this is the Dirty Cow Vulnerability Lab. So first, we'll go over task one, which is to modify a read-only file. So first, we have to make our dummy file, which I'm going to do zzz2 because I already use zzz. Put in the password. Then we change the permissions of the file. Slash ccc2. And then we edit the file. So sudo gedit slash zzz2. And so we just put in whatever here, which we're going to put in just like the lab says 111, 111, 222, 222, 333, 333. And it'll change the twos to stars, which is the dirty cow text. We'll save that, exit, and print it out just to make sure it worked. Cat slash ZZZ2. There it is. So now we want to, so now we're going to try to write into that. So 999999 slash using echo. CCC2. As we can see, we get permission denied because we do not have access to write into that using Echo. And um, so now, before we compile our good news attack, let's actually look at our file. So here it is. Um, it'll open our file CCC2. And um, like it just says, open the target file in read only mode. And then it'll target the twos and change them to the stars. So let's compile our code, gcc cal underscore attack dot c negative lp thread. Compiles the code. See there's a dot out right there. And then we will run a dot out dot slash a dot out. Give it a few seconds to run. It runs infinitely, so we have to stop it by ourselves. So here we go. And now let's check if it worked using cat slash zzz2. And there we go. It changed it to the stars. And that is a dirty cow attack right there. So now on to task two, which is modify the password file to gain the root privilege. So first we have to create a file, create a, um, so first we have to create a user. So sudo add user. And I'm going to use my name, Aiden1. As file, I'm just going to use my name again for the password, A-I-D-A-N, Aiden, let's put random stuff in there for these. All right, so now that we have our user, we can check his permissions, etc slash password, grep, Aiden1. There we go, we see the 1001 right there, we have to change it to zeros so that we are root user. And let's go ahead and sign in to our account. So sudo cp slash etc slash password slash ezz2 and then su8 and 1. Type in our password. You see we get dollar sign right there which means we are not root user because if it, we were root user it'd be a hashtag and we can check that by doing an ID and we see we our UID is user one it would be UID equals zero if we were root user so we can go and exit so we can try and do our attack clear so now we must turn our Aiden account into a root root account so we copied this code right here into a new one called cow underscore attack two. And we change these things. We change the open file to slash etc slash password. And then the and then the target area to eight and one, semicolon x, semicolon zero zero one zero zero one. And then it writes that as zero zero zero. So let's go ahead and compile that code. GCC cow 
underscore attack 2.c negative lp thread and then dot slash a dot out give it a few seconds to run because it'll still run infinitely stop it and now let's try and sign into our Aiden account again and you see there we go it worked we get we get the, we get root right here and we can check that by doing ID so there we go UID equals zero and that is how you that is how you change account into a root account using the dirty cow attack all right that's it thank you